This is the John Wall Street Sports Business Minute. I'm Corey Leff. Formula One has announced a sponsorship and data rights partnership with Interregional Sports Group that will enable development of a live in-race betting platform. The five-year deal worth at least $100 million gives the sports marketing agency the ability to sub-license betting partnerships around the world, rights packages said to include regionalized on-screen promotion, trackside signage, and exposure across Formula One's digital and social properties. Sponsors will not be permitted to offer odds within ads during Grand Prix races. The $100 million figure ISG is paying makes the cost of acquisition per player very high, leading at least some to believe the company is using F1 as an entree to sports bettors, hoping they'll be able to entice them to gamble on other sports. I say they'd better be able to do that because the $100 million fee they're paying, which they're paying up front, is more than the company's annual revenue. And perhaps the worst sign in news for the company is that the deal comes at a time when the involvement of gaming companies in sport is being more closely scrutinized than ever before. Of course, that's on a global basis, not here in the US. Italy and Australia have already implemented bans on betting advertisements during live sporting events, and there's now talk similar bylaws could be set in the UK, F1's most lucrative broadcast market. Tom Watson, Deputy Leader of the Labor Party has called for a ban on all gambling advertisements during live sporting events, calling them a public health emergency. Watson's plan also calls for a tax on gaming operators, money that would be used to offset a portion of gambling addiction recovery efforts, and a prohibition on the use of credit cards to pay down bets. One UK gaming operator, Skybet, is on record supporting the levy but vehemently opposes a blanket ban on advertising and credit card payments, saying that those initiatives could push gaming companies to drop their UK licenses, a measure that would leave domestic gamblers vulnerable to disreputable operators. Yeah, good luck selling that. The odds of Skybet closing their UK division are infinitely long. If you're interested in sports business, sign up for our free daily email newsletter at johnwallstreet.com and find us on Twitter at Howie Longshort. Remember, New episodes of the John Wall Street Sports Business Minute are released Monday and Tuesday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern Time on the John Wall Street YouTube channel.